Lord of Keys, Andy Lip here, but with another Advanced Dubious tutorial. I don't know what that accent was, but alright, I'm getting tired of using this. I, I, just, I say at the beginning of every single video, but today we're going to be looking at a decent little plugin called Stream Effects that we kind of talked a little bit about it in my previous video, and today we're taking a bit of a dive on how to put blur on any kind of source. So I use blur quite a lot on my channel. Uh, here's a couple of examples why, but it basically adds an extra element of depth to the stream. I'm all about making things very clean and hopefully you can see that. Come and visit me at twitch.tv slash andylippy if you want to see it in more action. Before we get into this video, press the like button and also subscribe. Put your rope on the stone. Let's go. Right, so as always, before we get started messing about with the plugin, we need to get it all installed. And let's just address the elephant in the room. I know, look at the state of that. We all get spots, don't worry about it, guys. I'll buff it out in edit, all right? <laughs> so on the GitHub for Zaymar's Stream Effects plugin, we need to go all the way down to the bottom. You'll see a couple of different versions here. I actually spoke to Zaymar, and he actually prefers people to install via the EXE. That way any redistributables for C++ or anything like that will be all kind of bundled in and it'll sort you out, okay? So click on that. You'll see it down here at the bottom. Get that ran. It might ask for Windows privileges and stuff like that. Just say it's okay and it'll get itself sorted. So allow to run and then just go through the standard installation procedure. Hit next, next, next. It'll pop up just a little bit like this. I'm not going to do it now because I've already got it all installed. The correct file path that you were are looking for as well, just in case, is in the C drive. And then go to either Program Files or Program Files 86. And then you'll see OBS-Studio all lowercase. That is where you want to be installing it to, okay guys? So, once you've got that all installed, you'll know it's all done correctly. I'm just going to jump into Studio Mode because you'll have a little stream effects button right at the top here and it'll uh, be for if you need to report a bug or a crash or request help etc and you'll also be greeted with a welcome message if you haven't got that it means you've not installed it correctly so try reinstalling it again so now let's start playing about with a, a blur so i'm just going to add a scene here and i'm going to call it blurred cam so i'm going to add a camera so on my sources if you want to know what uh, studio mode is what I'm using now, I am going to be doing a video on that at a later date, so make sure you are subscribed for that. I'm going to hit video capture device and choose my cam. This can be absolutely any source. It doesn't have to be a cam. It could be a video. It could be just something plain like a color, or it could be an image. could be absolutely anything. I'm actually going to add the the filter blur to this scene because if I add it to the camera it's going to affect what is recording me right now so right click on the scene or source you want to make blurred hit filters hit plus and you'll see blur right at the top there I'm just going to call it blur for now you'll see a couple of different options here you got the type subtype the size um, uh, step scaling and apply mask so the type if you hold your uh, mouse over it it will explain exactly what it does there but these are all the different types of blur that you can use box uh, box linear you've got uh, gaussian which i love the most because it's kind of such a natural um uh, blur you've got gaussian linear as well and also dual filtering so you can fiddle about with all these that they all do slightly different um blurs so the size is the, the kind of the amount of blur how much is kind of blurred together and the subtype is whether or not if it's directional like that as you can see it's kind of done sideways whether it's rotational so you can change the kind of angle that it's at so as you can see there could make some really cool little transitions if you automate some of that and you can do a zoom blur as well so it kind of looks like you're going super fast like yeah i'm i'm superman flying through the air but i'm sat down in a chair but the best one to probably use, especially to be m less intensive on your GPU, is dual filtering. It's kind of exactly like uh, Gaussian Blur, but basically it's just so lightweight. So if I turn the size up a little bit here, you'll see it looks exactly like Gaussian Blur. I love it being on the um, fourth size there. That's what I use on my stream if you want to check it out, twitch.tv slash andylibby. And we can also apply a mask as well if I wanted to. Uh, to kind of make areas that are clear just like that. 
I do that slightly different way. You can fiddle about with all this as you want. You can even feather it, as you can see, which is a really nice effect, so it's not as straight edge. So it kind of blurs a little bit out at the top, as you can see there. You can fiddle about with all that as much as you want. So I can do the left edge, the right edge, everything like that. And it, yeah, it, it does what it says on the tin. I don't know what that noise was. Um, but that is as easy as it as is. I'm just going to remove the mask now and leave it on there. I'm going to show you how to create the effects that I showed you earlier. I'm going to create another scene. And this one I'm going to call Let's Chat, for instance. So this is Let's Chat. It's blank. I'm going to add my camera to there. So video capture device. I go to Cam 1. And you'll see my camera is just there. Nice and easy. So now I want to kind of put my blurred cam behind that. So I'm going to press the plus again on sources and add a scene. This is a, a nested scene. There's plenty of uh, tutorials that I've done on nested scenes and they're so useful to use, especially if you want to apply multiple effects to say one camera. Because if I add the effect to cam one, that is going to change every single cam one. Whereas if I add it to the scene, it only affects that scene, which just happens to have that source in there. If that makes sense. You can check out my video on nested scenes just up here. So blurred cam, I'm going to add that in. You see blurred cams at the top. I'm just going to move it down. You can do that by clicking and dragging. Just like so. Or using these little arrows at the bottom. And then to get that effect that I've got for the let's chat on the side. Is all I've done is hold down alt. Click and drag. That I'm actually clicking the wrong bloody thing there. <laughs> it does help if I use the top one. And as you can see. As I'm cropping in, it leaves the nice blur behind. So then I've just got my Let's Chat um, messages just there, and it makes it easier to read. It kind of gives it extra depth. So there's many different ways that you can utilize this, this plugin, but just be careful and bear in mind the amount of blur that you do put on. For instance, if you use the box and then go, right, I'm going to slam this up to 128, that is going to hammer your, your GPU. As you can see, I'm not rendering now. This video is awful. Drag it back down. Okay, so it'll start skipping rendering time. It'll also make so much lag. You'll drop frames and you'll be like, why is my computer crashing? So little is more with these sort of things, especially if that goes for anything on the stream effects kind of bundle. Make sure you don't overdo it and stress your system too much. So I recommend using dual filter and keeping it pretty light on there as so nice and simple tutorial for you there on using something like the one and only stream effects plugins using blur i would love to see what things you guys come up with kind of creating that kind of depth perception it's kind of like i've started making it feel like i'm right making my own operating system on stream so just come, come and have a look at it it's quite interesting the way that different notifications come up and things like that it's pretty awesome so show me what you do let me know if you've got any questions or anything you want me to cover in these videos in the comments below make sure you like to help fight that youtube algorithm and also subscribe okay guys put your rock to the stone see you in the next one